was back to the office, so to speak. Vigo County Council resumed in-person meetings tonight. News since Sarah Lehman is in the studio to explain how they were able to do it safely during the pandemic and what they discussed. Tonight's meeting was not how the county council expected it to go, but members know they have to keep moving forward. Facial coverings, social distancing and hand sanitizer. All things found at the county council meeting Tuesday night. The council obviously needed to meet. We had to transact some business. After two months of postponing meetings, the county council decided they couldn't wait to move things along any further. When they set the date for their meeting, they thought the Vigo County Annex would have been open for longer. Between that time and, and, and uh, when we published our notice, the um, dates of those openings changed by one week. That's why Council President Mike Morris says there was no public allowed in the meeting. He says the biggest thing for all of the council members is to keep everyone safe. We just wanted to have a meeting, uh, take the normal precautions, and, uh, and, and, uh, and get our business done for the county. Some of that business includes some housekeeping payments for the continued construction of the new Vigo County Jail. The council also approved the sale of the former quarter midget racing track in Terre Haute. That area will go to the chemical company Hydrite to expand their current area in Terre Haute. Morris says it's an ideal use of the property. The utilization of this company for it is a very good use of it. It's, it's never going to be a residential site again. The next council meeting is set for June 9th. Morris says he hopes things are more back to normal by then, like allowing the public inside, but he knows things are different every single day when it comes to this pandemic. Back to you.